Hey y'all, so I just wanted to come in and give y'all, you know, some pointers regarding this braid pattern. So you just want to start off with your anchor braids, of course, because they're definitely going to be necessary for this particular hairstyle because I'm going to be sewing the wig down. So um, depending on the hairlines, the client's hairline will depend on how you will be doing your braid pattern obviously you need a middle part because we are doing a middle part close your wig so if you're doing a middle part your part should be in the middle if you're doing the side um do your part on the side whether it's curved or straight but right now i'm just showing y'all that i am grasping the hair and connecting them until they're even on both sides until i'm able to reach the braid to go all the way down to her side so that's all i'm really doing as you can see um and i'm gonna be going from each side to make sure that the middle part is even so i like to work on both sides so that you know the line don't get crooked on me while i'm braiding so you want to make sure it's even and you're applying the same amount of pressure because in the past in the beginning and if it's your first time doing this you cannot just braid the braid pattern on one side and expect when you do the other side your part is still going to be in the middle because depending on how tight you braid the tension is going to be leaning so i like to each after each side i want it to be exactly even so you see i'm going to the left i'm moving to the right and i'm just going back and forth back and forth whatever i'm doing on one side i'm doing the exact same thing on the other side because you want it to be even on both sides so this is a really 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 great method to do um definitely don't be grabbing all the edges you just you want them to still be you know breathable like don't be grabbing edges y'all y'all not trying to take our edges we're trying to conserve them and this is a great protective style so yeah um and it's just a really good anchor braids are just really good for keeping your hair i mean obviously something to sew down and keeping your hairline intact you know don't apply too much pressure but you definitely want to make sure that um you want to make sure that I lost my train of thought, but I also am adding braiding hair. Um, I usually, it depends like when I'm doing these kind of anchor braids, I do add braiding hair for like the first two. And then if you need to, depending on how the client's hair is, if you need to, you'll add it to the second one. And then the third, depending if it's short hair, you might need to add braiding hair to the whole head or you just have to do it on, on, on the anchor braid. So it just depending on the client, their hair texture, how their hairline is, because everybody is different. So you just, you know, work and customize your techniques to, you know, each person's hairline and stuff like that. So I'm doing my anchor braid still. We ain't begin begin the whole braid pattern, but y'all know I like to do my anchor braids on the sides to make sure, and then definitely in the back. And doing the anchor braids in the back is really good because sometimes if you wear wigs constantly and you have that constant tension rubbing on the back, that hair will just completely start falling out. And you won't have no nape in the back. Like, you won't have no hair in the back. So, braiding it down is going to keep the hair, you know, protective, not getting rubbed on and all of that good stuff. And all the ends of your hair is tucked away because, you know, yeah, I like to intertwine all my braids so we only have one ending braid. So, yeah, all of that plays a part in this. But I just wanted to show y'all my braid pattern. Y'all could just continue watching. I'm not gonna talk y'all ears off. Yeah.
that had got to the back of the head as you guys can see we are last thing with one ending braid and then that i began to do the cornrows going back once i got like halfway at a of the head shape i did the braids going back and now i like to take my infamous duo grow and we're gonna grease the scalp honey okay period and i do not add any oil to like the edges especially if it's a frontal because y'all know we don't want the wig cap going back like you can add some in the braid of the anchor braid but not too much and i also do not add any oil in the middle part because it's obviously an oily substance a product and once i apply my wig i do not want any oil on the middle part and the hair becoming oily so this frame from that and i'm also adding a bobby pin to the back of the hair you don't need to sew the wig down and i won't be using that cap because it's not necessary if i was to be gluing this wig with um ghost bond or bold hole whatever y'all use then um i would have put a cap down but because and then obviously sew the cap down and do my method of you know the invisible cap and all that but because this is a protective hairstyle and we only using gel and got to be gel is not a super harsh product there's no need to add a wig cap so i just add the bobby pin and it just really convenient for the client because most clients you know may not have help at home to take down their hair down their hair braiding pattern so i want to make it as easy as possible where you don't need nobody you got it yourself you know so that's you know why i do the little bobby pin or whatever um and now i'm just adding the wig cap the wig cap i'm adding the custom unit wig this is a closure wig three bundles and um a closure that i made and i'm also just trying to get the the lace closure the same color i'm so sorry i'm just going blank while i'm doing this voiceover all right so now i'm just adding a got to be to the forehead and i'm also adding a free spray and i like to blow dry i feel like this is the key step of blow drying it for about 30 seconds so that the glue could begin to dry and get tacky just how you would if you was using an adhesive let it dry a little bit but for the adhesive i usually don't blow dry but for the got to be i do on warm heat once you blow dry you want to go ahead and put your wig on and then blow dry it until it's all you know in there like swimwear and this will last you about a week obviously you can't wait you need to make sure you tie your hair down but it does last about a week with the free spray gives it that extra hold and you do need the free spray for it to last so this is also temporary wear this step is optional depending on your client you don't have to sew the wig down but as you can see i'm sewing the wig down you can't really see underneath the wig but i'm sewing down on the anchor brace that we created and i'm just using my finger underneath the wig so i could feel the needle where the needle is going exactly to make sure that the needle and thread in the cap is connecting to the underneath anchor braid in as well so i don't you know stab my client so just sew on the perimeter of the anchor braid this is optional you don't have to do this but um Oh my gosh, my sister just scratched me. You don't have to do the sewing method, but some, you know, people want extra securing. So, you know, each is own, but you definitely have the anchor braids, which is great if you do decide to sew it down. They're there for you, and you just sew it down. And voila, magic. And this is also a custom color highlights for the client of what she requested. So, yeah, the hair and come like this. Y'all know, hashtag color queen. You know what's going on.